Today, we are going to build a Sub-D surfaces using the Ribbon Stroke tool. Sub-D surfaces are comprised of three main components, faces, edges, and points, connected by curvature in three dimensions. To begin a Sub-D surface, we go to our main toolset, select the Stroke tool, select Point Mode, select Ribbon Stroke, and switch on Sub-D. You can also set the width of your stroke with the slider in the main menu. To create a Sub-D surface, click each point with the trigger in your drawing hand, finishing the stroke with your opposite trigger. When switching on your control points in edit mode, you can also switch between full curvature and low poly views of your model. This helps you to understand the fundamental structure of your surface and develop good surface topology. Using the grip button, you can grab individual faces, edges, or points. By grabbing an edge or face and pulling the trigger, you can extrude and extend your surfaces with additional faces. Welding points together is easy. Simply bring one point near another and they snap together automatically. Click the Auto Select Loops button on the upper right hand of the menu to select entire rows of edges or faces. You can also extrude additional edges or faces with Auto Select Loops activated. As you can see, the surface is now taking on a high degree of compound curvature. And by switching on our reflective HDR, you can really see the contours of the surface. You can adjust your surface by adding additional edge loops to make a creased edge or adjusting the distance between control points to change the character of the curvature. You can add additional edge loops within the surface by simply clicking on adjacent edges using the trigger on your drawing hand. Pressing and holding the black tool button on your drawing hand will open a series of additional tools. Select the Edge Cut tool to add individual edges within a surface. While you generally want to stick with four-sided shapes, Edge cut can be useful for creating three-sided and five-sided shapes to manage certain transitions. As you can see here, I'm using the edge cut tool to transition a sharp crease into a softer surface. Building Sub-D surfaces with ribbon stroke is particularly useful in car design, where key lines and sections determine the theme of the vehicle. Points and edges can be welded together at the mirror plane for curvature continuity at the center line. From there, additional surfaces can be extruded to create key volumes. By setting up ribbons of sub-D surface along each of the key character lines, I can quickly build and extrude the main surfaces needed to achieve a good surface structure. Once a strong surface character is in place, I can merge and weld together the main volumes to create a complete surface model with well-resolved surface transitions, creating a great foundation for bringing your sketch into a full 3D model.